Hey everyone, welcome to the Out Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. Today I just kind of wanted to talk about six fabrics that y'all should be looking out for when you're outsourcing. And these are usually um, exclusive of brand. So if you find these fabrics or clothing items made out of these materials, you typically want to source it regardless of the brand, um, especially if your cost of goods is really low. These are called luxury fabrics, and these will sell for more money than your regular polyester or cotton blend items. They're typically sought after, and they're expensive. Now, if you find them in really great brands, all the better, because of course, a Bolo luxury brand that is made out of a Bolo luxury fabric is gonna go for really good money and probably pretty fast, be a fast flip for you. So these six fabrics are, in no particular order, linen, wool, especially if you see merino wool or 100% virgin wool, those are pretty sought after wools. Wools is such a funny word to say, wool. Next is leather. And everyone knows what leather is and looks like, but oftentimes folks don't know that suede is really just leather that's textured differently and made to feel more like a cloth material, more fuzzy, if you will, more soft. So suede is also leather. So you wanna look for both of those, a suede coat and a leather coat. They're both great to find. You wanna make sure when you are sourcing and you find a leather jacket, if it's not a super duper great brand, make sure it's 100% leather, check the tags. The same with shoes or with suede or anything like that. Um, obviously, if it's going to be a faux leather or a vegan leather or a pleather, if it's a good enough brand, you can source that as well. There are a lot of um, vegans and folks who don't like to wear animal um, materials made from animals that will purchase faux leather or pleather, and now I think it's called vegan leather. Um, so if it looks like leather and it feels like leather, but it's not leather and you check the tag, if it's 100% leather, it's good. If it's vegan leather or faux leather, it's, it's good too, especially if it's a good brand. Um, and then suede, of course, is just a type of leather that's softer to the touch. And the next one's cashmere. You're usually gonna find cashmere in sweaters, uh, cardigans. I've seen cashmere skirts and blouses. It's a really nice, soft, very luxurious material. Uh, alpaca, which is kind of just another type of wool, but it will specifically say on the tag, alpaca or alpaca wool. We have ever only found, that's not even good English, we've only ever found one item ever made out of alpaca wool. We found it at our local thrift store, the one that closed back in 2018. So it's been a long time, you can tell how long it's been. We found it was a vest, like a coat that was a vest without sleeves, made out of alpaca wool. And it sold for, I think it was like $80 overnight. We found it for 99 cents. We listed it, I think, at like 95 or 100, if I remember correctly, to give room for offers. And it sold for 80 overnight. So alpaca um, must be like a particularly sought after type of wool. So if you see the word alpaca, definitely grab it. It's softer than normal wool. Now, I know there's people out there who like wool. Such a funny word. Um, and can wear it no problem, like a wool sweater or a wool skirt. I think it's really itchy, and I would never wear it just because it irritates my skin. I have sensitive skin, though. Anyway, I think wool, even the virgin wool, the merino wool, I think it's very scratchy and itchy. Um, but the alpaca felt softer to me, if I remember correctly. It wasn't as itchy. It was a little more thicker and more luxurious feeling and more soft. Definitely not as soft and silky as ca cashmere is like, oh, I could live in a cashmere sweater forever, like never take it off. But anyway, look for the alpaca and then silk. Now you have to be careful with silk because um, 
there's a lot of cheap things nowadays that are made out of silk. I don't know if it's as luxurious of a fabric as it once was or if it's considered as much of a luxury material as it once was. Um, I remember silk used to be very rare, very expensive, and only like the best brands had it. Um, you can kind of find some cheap silk stuff nowadays, or you'll find stuff that feels satiny or silky to the touch, and then you look at the label, and it's not even silk. It can be like rayon or, or polyester blend or something. So if you're going through the rack, say to a thrift store, and you come across something that feels silky, check your labels. Make sure it's at least a silk blend, better yet, 100% silk, and make sure it's a good brand. If it's something you're not familiar with, I would recommend going ahead and checking the comps. Um, just because even with 100% silk on your material label, you can get it home and find out it's not worth much. Unfortunately, I think a lot of cheap things are made out of silk now. But don't turn your back or turn your nose up to it. If you feel something, see something that looks or feels satiny or like that, you know, satiny silky feel, pull it off the rack, check it out. Look at the label. What is it made out of? What brand is it? Does it have any uh, great graphics on it? Because like a lot of men's clothes that'll be like really generic brands that maybe you would normally pass on will be 100% silk and have some really amazing graphics on it and then it's worth picking up. So to recap, before I let you go, you guys wanna be on the lookout for linen, wool, especially merino and 100% virgin wool, leather and suede, cashmere, alpaca wool, and silk. If you know of any other luxury fabrics that we should all be looking for, let us know down in the comments below and let me know what you think about this video. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Join our Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. You can find the link down below. Until next time, guys, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. You guys are the best. Bye.